Sagittarius, hi Sagittarius, this is Renee Michelle coming to you with your weekly reading for December 17th through 18-19-21 to December 23rd of 2016, I said 2017, anyway it's January 13th, what happened on January 13th, anyway Sagittarius, January, today is Yesterday was 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3. So it's January 17th to the 23rd, your weekly reading. Hi, I'm Renee Michelle. This is my YouTube channel, Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We're glad to have you. Um, thank you for the positive feedback on the new series, Spiritual Awareness. Make sure you check that out. Um, this week we'll be talking about physical abuse and emotional abuse. Um, also, if you want to contact me for a reading, the information will be down below. Um, and uh, what else that I was going to tell you guys? Oh, that's about it. All right then. Okay, so Sagittarius, here's your weekly reading for January 13th through January. Again, I said January 13th. What happened, guys? What happened on the 13th? January 17th through January 23rd, 2016. Here we go. I hope everybody's doing well. What's going on with you is ooh, today is going to be hard because I'm at a certain place. You all know it, Starbucks. Here, here he is. Can you see him? It's the King of Swords, and this is the underlining of the reading. This is what's going on. This is general energy, and it, what, to me, what it represents is you coming into your own, especially. Um, when it comes to education, smarts, um, how you maneuver as far as your mind is concerned and what are you delving into your mind about a lot of things. The King of Swords is balanced in the mental area as far as education and knowing what he needs to know to go forward and mastering education to use it to his best of its ability to move forward in life. He's also very cunning and funny and laughable, but here's the thing. He's a very serious dude and he's been through everything and he knows that, look, this is how I have to do it. This is how it has to go. So that's the underlining of the reading for this week. Um, also Sagittarius, what we got going on now is the balance and the sadness. Okay, so this is the woe is me card. I always tell y'all that this is the card that talks about um, letting go of something and saying, what am I going to do now that I've let this go? You know what I'm saying? What the card is really saying is to look and be positive about the things that you still have in your life and don't worry about the things that you don't have in your life or that person that you let go because you still have a lot of good things. You have a lot of good things going for you. So you have to stay focused. You have to understand that the person that you are letting go is supposed to be gone. The people that you are letting go is supposed to be gone. And when they, you let them go, new people come in. And when you let them go, it's going to create a balance for you. Look at the temperance. Something about you being a, with this person or with these people is making you off balance. And once you let them go, and once you let these situations go, you're going to be a much more balanced person. And that's what it is. That's the feeling coming into this week. You letting go of certain things and then making you feel better. And making you feel more balanced and more whole with yourself. You know what I'm saying? At the beginning of the week, this is today, yesterday, today, tomorrow. We have the, 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 the Wheel of Fortune. 
what I feel about this is for a lot of y'all, if you've been going through a bad time, if you're going through a rough time, the time is changing. This is about time moving forward. This is about luck, 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 they're telling me. And this is about you being more positive and moving forward in a new direction, right? And this is about you having the energy and the focus that you need to do that because the divine is with you, because God is with you. And your story has already had its sad parts since now it's time for you to tell some happy stories. So like I said, as old things come out, new things come in. So if you let go of the things that you were, you were you were worried about, right? Let those things go. Let those people go. Let that whole situation get put to bed and go on with it. There's new possibility for love and coming in your life. Now this is not just regular love. This is not just, oh, I need a new mate or I need a new partner. This could be a rejuvenation of love in your marriage or with your boyfriend or with your fiance or with your girlfriend or whatever. But this also is new shows, people showing you love from the outside, showing you love and support. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the situation is over, but in the, towards the middle of the week, you're going to get love from everybody, from all sides, I feel. All directions, new people saying to you, girl, it's going to be all right. You're going to be okay. It's all right to let go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, you know better. You know what I'm saying? We got your back. And you're going to realize the support and the support that you have around you. The people that you have around you will sustain you through this loss. And then also, it will open it up for new possibilities of new people and new things to come in that will make your life better. The Nine of Pentacles, right? And what I feel like this is representing is you coming into your own about something, about you finally coming to fruition about, okay, I'm still okay. I'm not gonna take this as the literal term that it is, but the feeling that they give me is I'm still okay. Even though the situation is over, this person is gone, I'm okay, I'm gonna be all right. I'm still gonna be good at everything that I do. I'm still gonna be, have all these things and you, you this is you coming to an understanding coming to a knowing that the life that you had were leading before was destructive right it was self-destructive it was also not good for you and not healthy for you so now that you're coming into this new 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 you right and this new positive energy this new place to go as far as there's so many things that open up because you were absorbing a lot of your time and energy towards something that really didn't need your time and focus so when you move towards focusing on yourself and growing yourself and focusing towards new things and new ideas and new people and new places to go it opens up your world and you feel more grounded and more self-sufficient and more self-reliant because I feel like on all other areas of your life, Sagittarius, things were going pretty well. Your finances were okay. You have a nice home or whatever the situation is. It may not be nice, but you have a home to go to and all that other stuff. But what I feel like is, is that you were obsessing and you were compulsive over a certain situation that needed to end. And now that it's ended, it's all about you, right? So this out, the outcome of this week, right? The outcome of this week, I don't know if you can see it, it's the wish card. So I don't know if you got your wish or when your wish is coming through, but the, what they normally say, oh, this is wishes coming through, but this is also happiness and celebration. And this is also a new idea in education. This is cutting through all the bullshit and moving on with your life. This is about starting a new and opening up your mind to different possibilities. This is to me is about mental growth for you guys. You know, you got your wish. Everything you, you put forth made you more happier and more put in a better place. But also, it's, it's, it's opened up a whole new world for you. It's opened up a whole new um, mindset of ideas and had your mind expanding about what you can do for yourself and what you can do to make yourself happier and better and more free and more and, and great. Sagittarius, you've been you've been holding on to something for way too long, and it wasn't positive. I'm my name Michelle. This is. Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. I'll see you next week. Actually, later on this week. All right, guys. Enjoy your week. Sorry I'm a little late. Stay blessed. Ashe.